We've all heard about the islands of rubbish floating in the oceans and seas all over the world. Here in New Zealand, we're all very proud of our clean, green image. But maybe the truth is out of sight, out of mind. We're joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by Sea Cleaners founder Hayden Smith to talk about what he's doing to clean up the floating rubbish out of our own backyard. Morning, Hayden. Good day. So tell Hi. me first up, how did this all, all come about? Did your wife say you needed to find a job doing what you loved? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah? It was a, a moment where I wasn't happy doing what I was doing and it was about how do we find that? And yeah, she said, think back to when you're a child and if you can remember how you used to play, if you can convert that playtime to employment, you'll never work a day in your life, you'll always play. So. For me, growing up out in the bush and out in the west, it was about being outdoors and, and chasing some adventure. So for me, it was adventure tourism was what I thought I was looking for. So whilst out and about on these adventures, found myself surrounded by rubbish in, in Auckland's Waitemata Harbour back in the year 2000. And from there, it's been doing what we're doing to clean it up. And, and what were you out on when you were in the harbour? Were you out on a boat? Were you out on a kayak? Were you yeah, just swimming? Out on, out on a kayak, had paddled up through the eye of a storm to the harbour bridge and was surrounded by these convergent zones full of, of debris, plastic debris that, as we've found out now, has primarily come off the streets and down through stormwater systems. So what sort of things? Uh, you name it, we've pretty much found it. So you plastic bags, your chip packets, your lolly wrappers, your drink bottles, car tyres, polystyrene, we've found kitchen sinks and a jar of mercury once as well. So, a jar of mercury? Yeah. yeah. That, that can't be a good thing. <laughs> that can't be a good thing. No. But it is, I guess, uh, you know, what you find when you're out in the ocean, and I'm with you, it's so frustrating because you do see a lot of rubbish. Yeah. I know that I make the effort to try and pick it up, but you and your little kayak, you must have run out of room pretty fast. Oh, at, at that time, yeah, and, and it was more about trying to bring together the awareness to get the support to take this whole project forward and, and by getting the, the support we needed we were able to launch the first proper commercial boat and, and get underway. Mm. So how did you do it? I mean how did, how did you get it off the ground? Uh, we managed to get the support across the, the region of Auckland to start with, with all of the, the mayors coming on board, with all of the cities that came in behind and, and local corporates that got into the project and really wanted to see it happen and it's not just about picking up rubbish because for us that's the the ambulance at the bottom of the cliff it's about connecting the communities to, to help us do what we do and, and really generate that awareness and education through being active out there doing it. Have we got better Hayden over the years at not throwing our rubbish or the amount that you're picking out of the ocean does it mean that we've got a bit lazy? Uh, in all honesty I think we probably have got better but there's so much accidental rubbish there's so much debris that isn't necessarily come out of the hand of someone but there's cats and dogs ripping open rubbish bags you've got birds pulling stuff out of overflowing bins the the wind will blow again stuff out of these overflowing bins or cars driving down the motorway with their window open the plastic prepaid parking permit sitting on the dash blows out yeah. the window oh, there's yeah. so many different scenarios and why is plastic so bad in the oceans well what we've seen that it's it's not such a an island of trash that is out there but we're more realizing now that it's it's more of a fog that is strewn through all of our oceans and all of our waterways and this plastic doesn't just remain as a, a singular item it photodegrades into many smaller microplastic pieces that are uh, infiltrating our, our ecosystem and, and food system and then well. the fish could eat them and then we yeah. eat the fish yeah. and then that's not a good thing is it and what can we do as the public to, you know, help, I guess? Because clearly it looks like you've got a lot of members in Sea Change, which is great. Yep. But what can we do on our day-to-day -day lives? Yeah, uh, it's really about thinking about your, your actions in regards to saying no to a, a plastic bag at the dairy or the gas station. It's about taking reusable shopping bags to the supermarket or looking for boxes to fill. There's things you can do with taking reusable drink bottles to, to school or where the workout wherever you're going throughout you with the day. And then on top of that, we're really trying to encourage people to pick up an, one piece a day. It's about actually taking responsibility for mm -hmm. your own street frontage in front of your house or wherever you're walking. Just actually stop and pick up one piece. Well, if we all just pick up one piece, that's mm. quite, quite a lot to do right at the beginning. There seems to be more of an uh, idea, I think, with the younger generation about reusing and recycling things. I know at schools often say don't you know, wrap things in glad wrap anymore, you know, get the resealable bags that you can use again and again and again and again or do it in, in natural products as well, those honeycomb or those honey wraps that you can get. 
are you doing anything to educate the kids as well? Uh, absolutely. We're speaking to, to schools and every sort of possible community group that we can work with to try and change people's habits and really bring the attention of what we have seen out there because so much of it, as you said, is, is out of sight and out of mind. So the more that we can draw attention to what we're doing, the better. The kids would be pretty good though, wouldn't they? They're brilliant, mm. they really are. Yeah, yeah, which is a great new generation, I guess, of conscious youth. What size are you at now? You started off with just you and the kayak. Can yep. you give us a description of where you're at now in terms of the fleet, yep. the amount of people, where it's spreading around the world? Yeah, absolutely. So for the first 10 years, we really focused on developing the core base pilot model. Uh, and then over the last four years we've, we've started to work a plan to multiply that program. So we've got three boats out around New Zealand at the moment, from basically from the Bombays to Cape Reinga, mm. and with that the staff to run that, but we've coordinated over 100,000 volunteer hours of the community getting involved, and for us that's a, a chance to develop new leadership amongst those school groups mm. and the, give them the experience of, of what we're seeing to help us make those changes. And do you, sorry, do you, ha you continue? Oh, going forward for us, it, it's also about trying to multiply. We want 10 boats around New Zealand by 2020, and that's our focus. And for us to do that, it's about raising the funds to support that as well. What I wanted to ask you was, how much rubbish? Do you have like a, a figure of all of the rubbish that's been collected during your time? Yeah, absolutely. We've been measuring it by the bag. So every the general rubbish bag that we collect is 50 litres. So we're now up over four and a half million litres of trash collected. <laughs> How big would a 50 litre bag be, roughly? Are we talking this big or are we talking yeah, this big? Uh, like a black... Between both. Like yeah, a, general, so general rubbish, rubbish sack. Rubbish sack? Yeah, that's right. And how much did you say? Four and a half million That is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, well thank you for doing that, because yeah. imagine how rubbish the oceans would be if you weren't taking at least that's that astounding. out. astounding, just around our shorelines. It's amazing. And raising yeah. awareness as well, and I hope you do get all the sponsorship, the, the funding, and I guess the, the ethos behind it, to continue doing it. You are doing a fantastic job. Uh, so thank you Hayden for coming in. And yeah, I'm sure, thank you. Yeah, I'm sure I want to say thank you on behalf of all the Kiwis uh, for everything you have done. To find out more and how you can help, go to ccleaners.com. Thanks Hayden, appreciate it. Thank you very much.